What's going on everybody? I hope you're having a wonderful day today. This is a beautiful day. This is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. You know, I, I grew up in the South, South Phoenix. No, I grew up in, in Mississippi and Louisiana. And one of the things that I found out is there's a line. There's a line that's a clear line that when you get up and grow in places like that, there's a line that separates people. But a long time ago, long, long time ago, there was a line called the Mason-Dixon line. And that Mason-Dixon line was a, a line that tended to separate North and South, but it really was a line that separated free states from slave states. And that line was a barrier that people dared not cross. Now, where that line was, there was no wall there. There was no wall where you couldn't get over it. There was just a, a line where people knew that there was a place where you really couldn't cross. You just didn't cross the Mason-Dixon line. Uh, and there was an inherent fear that if you cross over the Mason-Dixon line, if you were a slave, that you know you would be killed, they will find you, they will hunt you down, and whatever the dangers are, that they were true to the people that believed those things. But the Mason-Dixon line, the problem I see with that is that since there was no wall there, there were some states that really bordered right up against the Mason-Dixon line. And that meant that there were slaves who worked right there on those border states and looked right across the Mason-Dixon line into freedom, but remained a slave. The only thing that separated them was the line that they were told that he could not cross. At any point, if they had just crossed over, they would have gone from a slave state into a free state. But they remained slaves. I think it was Harriet Tubman who said that she freed hundreds of slaves in her lifetime. And she would have freed hundreds more if they only knew they were slaves. That line exists still in some ways when I go down south. There are people down south who just will not cross certain barriers. Some won't even leave their, their little small town. When I graduated, I tried to get friends of mine, or my family even, to come out and, to my graduation, but they wouldn't come. Even for my wedding, they wouldn't come for my wedding. I was willing to pay for their flight and pay to get them out here, but they still would not come. But in our minds, even in our own minds, there's a line. And we got to be aware that we inherit certain things. They're passed around to us. These boundaries are not just physical boundaries, they're mental boundaries, they're emotional boundaries. And there are things that happen and we will not cross over those boundaries because of an event, because of something that's happened. And in many times, we don't even know the source of our, of our boundary. We just know that there are certain things that we don't do. But until we cross over and understand that there's a freedom when you cross over boundaries. If they cross over from that slave state into a free state, they would experience freedom. But there's a fear sometimes in freedom. Sometimes people are afraid because freedom brings along certain risks and certain responsibilities. What does it mean to be free? Free to do what? And they'll go back into the area of familiarity. So think about your own life. What are your boundaries? What's your Mason-Dixon line that does not allow you to cross over and truly become free? Is there a fear that you have? What will freedom mean to you? Sometimes you just gotta step out there and just defy all odds, take the risk, take the chance, believe in yourself and know that there's an opportunity for you to be whatever you want to be. When I left Louisiana, I crossed the Mason-Dixon line. And as a result of me leaving Louisiana, there's so many things that's happened because of the freedom that's occurred. Now, I didn't, I didn't know what it was going to be like when I left Louisiana, but I'll tell you something. Once I crossed over, I started to really feel badly about all the people that have never broken free. And when I go back, I, I try to encourage people to move and to go to different places, but they simply would not do it. There's something about crossing over and stepping out and finding out that in your freedom, you give other people the opportunity and permission to be free. When you free yourself, people are watching you, and they now have the opportunity 
to free themselves. But it starts with you.